The two biggest long-term challenges that we must overcome for all of this to work are, number one, the tokenization of everything, and number two, decentralized governance design. I think those are the two main remaining barriers. If those are handled, then I really do think that our tokens uh, that represent a very diversified basket of tokenized assets uh, that, that create this new form of asset-backed currency will come to exist. As we talked about before, the tokenization of everything, it's really a legal and regulatory challenge. It's about working with lawmakers and regulators um, to get permission uh, to tokenize the world's financial assets, to use them within smart contracts. I believe there's so much utility in being able to use uh, smart contracts to interact with all the financial assets in the world that I think that this outcome is inevitable, um, but I might be wrong about that. And that's a, that's a major assumption of the long-term plan. When it comes to decentralized governance, it's hard to overstate how difficult the design challenge is. You know, if you if you want to know what I mean by this, it's just look at the entire world, look at look at and all of history, all of our efforts to organize ourselves and create systems to govern society. Um, you know, governance is hard. How do we how do we get people to work together um, in order to make good decisions on behalf of the whole? Um, you know, it, it's just it's very messy, and. Uh, although in this case we're talking about governing something that's much more narrow than an entire society, a lot of the same problems still crop up. You have to make sure to somehow avoid any form of relevant corruption. Um, uh, you have to somehow get people who have the relevant competence in the, in, in the positions to actually influence the decisions so that decisions are made well. So we think of the creation of decentralized governance protocols in crypto as like a little bit like creating, you know, a new country or a new a new operating system for uh, for countries. Um, it's not to be taken lightly, and it's really important that we get high quality decentralized governance mechanisms for our tokens to thrive and be able to grow to an enormous size. You might think, well, you know, if an R token just has a few million dollars in it, maybe very few people pay attention to it. It's very easy to govern it because nobody really attacks it. It doesn't really matter. Imagine if you have an R token that's hundred billion dollars. Um, that all of a sudden is like an enormous attractor of attention and attack and possible corruption and so on. It could be something where many different countries end up with a stake in how that R token turns out because their citizens are using it. So you could have you know entire governments devoted to steering the R token in one direction or the other. Um, so this becomes much much more complicated on a large scale if we uh, achieve massive success. And so I think decentralized governance is sort of the core challenge uh, as long as uh, assets get tokenized.